Grandpa. Here's something else for you. Thanks. You seen you, Zach? So long. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Pete. Listen to this. Any and all outlaws who, of their own free will, apply to the office of Roy W. Colby, U.S. Marshal, Town of Tascosa, Territory of New Mexico, will be granted amnesty, whereby this government undertakes to wipe all crimes of which they stand accused from the record, henceforward and forever. Signed, Lemuel Carter, Governor. Amnesty. Never thought I'd live to see the day. It's rotten. How come? man strays from the righteous path, he has to be made to pay for it. Don't do trying to pretend a skunk don't smell. Take off your hat when a gentleman enters the room. Hey, Clay. These fellas must think a lot of you. They got your picture all over the place. <laughs> hey, I must be getting up in the world. Ten grand. <laughs> you still only worth five hundred dollars. I think I'm better looking than you are. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> Stay put, fellas. Right over there. Hey, Fred. Look at how sweet they're being to us. <laughs> Some whiskey for Father Santana. Plenty. Come on, Fred, let's go. Hey, Beaver heads to the north. We're heading for the mission now. being followed, Clay. I need to see Santana. Look, Clay, I don't like to say anything, but if it's about your arm, you'd be better off going to a doctor than that priest. Who said anything about my arm? Hey! Mission's that way. This way's longer, but it's safer.
What about it, Santana? We won't talk. Do like the good book says. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. Didn't you like the whiskey the man brought you? What whiskey? I don't drink. McCord thinks different. Took a whole slew of bottles for you. Back at the mule station. We come here to wrap him up in a box and hand him to the marshal. Thou shalt not kill my son. Unless there's a price on his head. That makes it legal instead of just fun. We're working for the law. Listen good. Maybe we beat McCord here. But soon as he arrives, you bring him right into the church. Get me? Try to cross me, and I promise you got a date upstairs with your boss for free. Stay put here. Hey, Padre, I want to show you something, make you feel good. I mean, you don't think we drag a fella's body all over the place for weeks before we bury him, do you? Not sanitary. So, we just take his head. I don't like that, Sean. Bad luck to plug padres. They're not worth a cent. Any priest buddies up with an outlaw, I automatically excommunicate him and ordain myself. Come here for so you could confess. outside and keep him busy.
Priest's gonna cure what ails you, Clay. What you need is a real doctor. Yeah, but priests keep their mouths shut. I see what you mean. Well, plenty of padres in old Mexico. Let's get going. Peons will be crowding in here any second. Split, Fred. Just like that. Without me, you're a dead man. Adios, Fred. And don't follow me. Watch that roadblock. Marshal Kobe said shoot on sight. Especially the Escondido bunch. Don't you worry about that. I got my orders. What about you, men? We set up another roadblock by the woods. Got five men watching that one. All right, you stay here. We'll go join the men at the creek. A sound, kid. Law's thick out here, all right? <sighs> Got anything to eat? Send them signals. Appears you ate already, anyway. I'm particular who I feed. Well, normally I'm particular who I eat with. What are you doing here? Picking mushrooms. <laughs> you ain't gonna use that. You don't want them to know where you are any more than I do. Besides, if I thought for one second you were gonna use it, you'd have a hole right between your eyes by now. Clear out while you got the chance. As soon as I finish eating, and if you got any brains, you'll follow me. You stay here, you're gonna tangle with Marshal Colby's crowd. We gotta get through the blockade. Otherwise, we'll all starve. We have been able to get provisions through to Escondido for weeks. Escondido? I should have known. What? Why this stink is so bad around here. You ever been there, mister? 
I've been there. It's a great place for rats. We got work to do. Skirt that roadblock tonight or we'll never get through. Get moving. If you put the supplies on your back and crawl through one by one, you might have a chance. If you try in that wagon, they're gonna tear you apart. Don't listen to him. We got out, we'll get back in. Play McCord. McCord. That's all we needed. You remember me, don't you, Clay? At Laramie, I used to be with Doc. Doc Tepper, the doctor. Where is he now? Who? The Doc, where is he now? El Escondido. Thanks. Come with us, Mr. McCord. With you along, we could make it. No, I don't want his kind thrown in with us. It's tough enough as it is. Pa, you gotta let him. He's supposed to be lightning with guns. Us rats don't need his protection. Your pa, he's got a big mouth, boy. I hope it's still flapping in the morning. Good luck, kid. They'll have to wait a long while in Escondida for these supplies. There won't be much left when we get finished. Good, huh? Mm. Hey, boys. They tried to surrender. Why did you kill them? We don't go for any of that old white flag stuff around these parts. Not for Escondida scum. All right, put all those supplies back on the wagon. It's McCord.
Back to stay, McCord. I'll let you know when I decide. Open it up. There you are. Don't touch that stuff. It's mine, paid for by me. Oh? Why didn't you go get it then? Why don't we pay him for it, Kraut? You want to pay me for it? Got plans for this stuff, McCord? That's right. I still run things around here. Anything you do, clear with me. Kraut. Where's my boy? Where's my husband? They didn't want to go. You made them. I'll see you get four full shares of grub. How's that, Ruby? Fair's fair. Four shares. Four shares. But my kid... My man... <laughs> They're dead. <laughs> I'll to fill your rotten belly. Here's what's fair. <laughs> Ruby! This grub, pass it out to the folks free. Try collecting one cent for it. But take it out of your hide.
What's your name? Lorinda. Is that your ma outside? Ruby? No. I just room here. Uh, there's a bottle on that table down there. We bring it here? It's the first bottle of whiskey we've seen in weeks. We're being starved out in here. Nothing's coming in. Not till you showed up. What's wrong with your arm? Did you hurt it? There's a fellow here, his name's Tepper, do you know him? <laughs> they call him Doc. Oh, Doc, yes. Good. Now, you go find him, and you bring him here. And don't let anybody see you. Oh, I don't have to go find him. He's right out there. What? Yes, out there. Take a look. Strung him up three days ago. Said he was cheating at cards. They'll pull him down tomorrow, I guess. Is there anybody else you want? Leave me alone! Good lately. Here you are. 
Example of amnesty at work. A desperate outlaw looking for forgiveness from the people of Tascosa. And if all the outlaws we have to accept are as rough and ready as that, we'll gladly join our governor in his policies. Right? Right. Bounty hunters, waiting just outside of town, Marshal. Got some merchandise to hand over today. Don't let him in the Tascosa. I'll be right there. I didn't know we had an orator in the family. I have to leave. Only for a moment. Congratulations. Thank you. You keep your company, honey. Thank you. Duskin, Clay McCord's man. That $500 reward. Now move off and keep going. Any big ones show up to ask for amnesty, Marshal? Not yet. I told you, Seminole, it's all a joke. It's no joke. If an outlaw comes in... You give it to him. <laughs> bang, bang, bang. <laughs> yeah, we're all in the same business, Marshal. Wiping out the no-good trash. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Don't worry, Marshal. With us out here, ain't no man with a price on his head gonna bother you. And you better get that ten grand together, because it's McCord we'll bring in next. Come on. Who's next? I think Clay's next. Right, Ed? But, Ed, it's my turn. Don't listen to the old bum. He's lucky we even let him hang around. Sit down and relax.
You remember me, don't you? It's Jonas. No. I was pals with your pa. Prospected gold together. Before he ran into that spot of trouble in Bingham. Stop slobbering all over me. What happened in Bingham, Jonas? Oh, it was sad, tragic like. Pa McCord all eaten up inside. Epilepsy was what it was. What? The fish. A real man like he was. What would he do, for instance? Uh, get the shakes. Terrible thing to watch. Shut up! Clear out, Jonas. Why? Beat it. <laughs> Don't let him touch you, Clay. He'll slit you from ear to ear. Why? Don't shoot. That fellow you killed a few days ago, he was my son. You mean the one that tried to shoot me in the back? All right. One death in the family, we'll let it go at that. Well, what are you waiting for? Let's have some service. You know, if you do cut my throat, I'll still have plenty of time to take you with me. My hands are shaking. So are mine. So we both got to be real careful. Right in the streets. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> no what, McCord? Long as you're crawling, you ought to crawl yourself all the way to Tuscosa, begging for that amnesty. There's a show. Step right up, folks, and see the number one gun have a fit. And when he's finished, kiss the marshal's hand. I could sell a million tickets to that one. <laughs> what you come back for, McCord. But I see you're getting wise and clearing out. We don't like loners in Escondido, and we don't cotton to wild men either. Well, you got one less wild man right there. So you see, I did you a favor, Crowd. Well, now do yourself one. Don't come back to Escondido. Never again. I didn't assign a watch seeing as how the cells are empty. Unless you want a man on duty, Marshal. No, not necessary. What the Sam Hill did I do with those keys? Not these, the ones for the jail. Right over here, Marshal. Oh. I got them. Thanks. Night. 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 Night, Marshal. Good night, Butler. Smoking is bad for your health. So's holding a gun on a Marshal. Yeah, well, uh... Let's go someplace where we can talk. Such as? How's your office? Hey, Marshal! You make up some story and get rid of him. Is anything wrong? Going back to the jail to look for the keys. Been looking for them all day. Oh, yeah, the keys. You'll find them in the top left hand drawer. Good night. Night. That's one for the books. Handcuffing a marshal. What is it you're after, McCord? The amnesty. Hmm. A man doesn't ask for amnesty the way you're doing it. Well, Marshal, if I'd just come in here without my guns or nothing, picture I get is me asking you for amnesty while I'm all full of holes. You got a point there. So you really want to chuck this life, huh? That's right. You mean it? Hand on the Bible. 
Ever read it? A little. Well, shall I need the amnesty? But I need some money to go with it. What are you driving at? You got 50 bucks. That's the deal. Well, Marshal, I figure I'm worth a lot more than that to you. You do? Why? If I come in, all the others will come in right after me. You're not worth a red cent to me, McCord. Not you or the others. No. No amnesty for you. Your record stands and you'll pay for it. Who you got in there, Marshal? Clay McCord! It's Clay McCord! Keep an eye on the office. You come with me. Clear off the street. Clay McCord's in there. Closer. Get behind. You won't get away, McCord. We'll get you even if you run to Escondido. <laughs> Your only chance to get out of this alive is if I do. Don't expect me to bargain with you. You won't, but they will. All right. Now you all clear off this street or you get yourselves a dead marshal. Shoot! No! Shoot!
No use. We'll never find him in this forest. He's probably halfway to Escondido by now. Come on, we're heading home. Get better quick. You will. I'll help you. You haven't seen me, understand? Not until I'm better. Well, these cowards will be all over me. I haven't seen you. Nobody will. I'll keep you right here with me. I'll find some grub. Make you strong again. Someday I'm gonna take you where people eat until they bust. Where's that? Care to register, mister? Later. Have my bag brought up to my room, will you please? Boy? I think I'll take a look around. I've never been in your town before. Sure thing, mister. You got a light, mister? Thank you.
anything exciting ever happen in this town? Are you kidding? Why, less than a week ago, we had more Shut up, Lou. What happens in Tascos ain't nobody's business but our own. Looks like you've got something to hide, friend. What's it to you? Nothing. Just curious. Don't pay to be too curious, mister. Remember that. I can't help it. It's my nature. We can't be too careful, can we? That's right, sir. With that amnesty business going on, any outlaw is liable to pop up, grab what he wants, and never even be put behind bars at all. I take it you're against the amnesty. Hogwash, that's all it is. We don't want any part of it in Tascosa. It's the law. Marshal Colby's keeping the law around here and keeping the trash out, too. You're just passing through, mister. That's right. Just passing through. Got to join us? I never gamble. Thanks just the same. What exactly do you do, mister? Try to mind my own business when I can. That's not the way I hear. They say you've been out asking everybody and his uncle all sorts of things. Maybe he's a newspaper man. Or just a busybody. Here, you've been asking a lot of questions around town, mister. Is there anything wrong in that? Well, depends on the questions. What is it you're after? Just getting the feel of Tascosa. This is a nice, quiet town. We don't want any trouble or troublemakers. To my knowledge, I haven't broken any laws. Intend to see that you don't. You're clearing out, mister. Not a very friendly town, Marshal. Boys, help this gentleman get his things, then escort him out of Tascosa. All right, mister, we got a nice quiet jail in town where you can cool off. Now, let's go. Delighted, Marshal. You're the man I came to see anyway. My name is Lem Carter, Governor, Governor of this territory. Sorry, boys, but I don't like to be pushed around. Now, Marshal, shall we proceed? I took great care to respect the letter of the amnesty. Yeah. And made damn sure they couldn't even get in to surrender. I know about your roadblocks. As of this moment, I'm lifting the siege on Escondido. I'll arrange with the local merchants to cart supplies up there and renew their hopes for the future. My instructions will be to tell them in no uncertain terms to come in and wipe the slate clean, to start a new life. That's right, Marshal. I'll even say it to Clay McCord. Oh, I know he came here and you let him get away. Well, let me tell you something. I don't care why he wants amnesty. Only one thing is important. I want him to know that Lem Carter, 
the governor of New Mexico is willing to give it to him. Madam. Hey, Chief. Will you ever be back? At the governor's pleasure. Chief, I ask you something. Come over here and answer me. You people better treat me right. For this is the last you'll see of me. Could be the last anybody sees you. <laughs> Don't you threaten me. You want the amnesty, don't you? Hell no. None of my boys want it either. We don't want McCord giving our people ideas. So where is he? Well, isn't he here? In Escondido. I was supposed to pass the word on to him. Governor Carter's guaranteed him safe conduct to Tuscosa. And that's a fact. He got away from Colby's men the other night in the forest. Maybe he came back here. I don't know. Maybe he's dead. That one don't kill easy. <laughs> Help yourself, friend. Help yourself. How much? No, no, no paying customers. At the governor's pleasure. Where'd she get any cash? took advantage of my hospitality one time too many, McCord. And to think you was in such a hurry to get amnesty at Tascosa when I had it up here for you all the time. <coughs> Let's forgive him in our own way, boys. <coughs> Yeah. 
Thanks. Night, Barbara. Snort, do you good? Sorry, I didn't make my move any quicker, but I had to be sure they was in no mood to care. Won't be long now. We'll be coming into Tuscosa. All your worries will be over. Governor Carter, he's got his heart set on giving you amnesty. And I'm taking you in to get it. There's 50 bucks in it for you when you sign. And I've got a sneaking hunch, a few for myself, for bringing you in. How come? I thought they lifted the roadblocks. They're from Miss Condito. Where you off to, Chief? What do you mean? Didn't expect Crowd to let you run out on him. <laughs> <laughs> Not Chief. He's a real good friend. Oh, yeah. I almost forgot. and unhitch one of the team. Sure. Oh, uh, Mr. McCord, come on into Tuscosa with me. I had the pleasure of visiting your charming little town not too long ago. Now get that horse. But that was before the governor showed up. There's a bunch of newspapers there in the wagon. If you don't believe me, read what the Gazette says. If the governor wants to talk to me, I'm ready to talk. And get on board. I'll hitch the team back up, and we'll be in Tuscosa before dawn. Huh? Not in Tuscosa. <clears throat> you burned the beaver head. It's handy for unexpected callers. That way I'll know in advance how many places to set for the party. I'm supposed to be a businessman. What's in this for me? I'll split the 50 bucks with you and let you have your horse back. 
So! There you are, Governor. Beaverhead. Thank you, Chief. You're welcome. McCord. Governor? I didn't expect you'd really show up. I had doubts on my side, too. About what? You might not really want the amnesty. Well, what makes you so sure I want it now? If you didn't, I think I'd be dead. I want it, all right. Right here, waiting your signature. And the 50 bucks? Why, sure. As soon as you sign it. That is, if, if I have it on me. If I don't, you'll have to trust me till we get back to Tascosa. I trust you, Governor. You got plenty of credit with me. It's just the amount that needs adjusting.
I don't follow. Oh, come on, Governor. You didn't really think I was going to come over for that kind of money, did you? You know a man of my line of work don't have nothing in reserve. And when I make that new start that you're talking about, I got to have something to make it with. So I figured 5,000 and we call it square. I come into town and, and sign the paper and then you can show it off to everybody, okay? Why'd you get me up here? Just to waste my time? It was the only way I could think of to get both. Both what? The amnesty and the money. Nobody's going to make you a present of $5,000. It's not a present. It's a reward for not killing you. This is how sure I am of you. Shoot. You're not going to kill the only man in the world who can keep the noose off your neck. I came to give you amnesty, not to make you rich. I need both. Your claws have been yanked, McCord. They're back along the trail someplace. I'm not your patient, Doctor. You've got quite a little ride ahead of you. We'll take your gig. At your service, Governor. Come on, Colby. That's an order. Keep an eye on things, Butler. and he soused at the gills. <laughs> I didn't kill him. McCord did it. You don't say. Hear him, boys? You didn't kill him. McCord killed my men. I cut him down. I see. You and McCord must be close friends. Well, let's have a drink to friendship. No! Please! Where's McCord? Uh, with the governor. With the governor in Tascosa. Yes. My boy saw you leaving town with the governor last night. That's how come we was laying for you when you come back. What do you mean, McCord's with the governor? He is. It's the truth. At Beaverhead, not at Tascosa. Get your horses, boys. We'll finish him off. 
If there's anything I can't stand, it's a fellow who rats on a friend. You disgust me, Chief. <laughs> Can't move him from here. One jolt, we'd have a dead man on our hands. Whatever you do, Doctor, don't lose him. You'll just be saving the hangman trouble if he does. Our only hope is to operate right here, right now. And I can't promise you a thing, Governor. Here, this is whiskey. You'll need it. Thank you. Just put it there. Come closer.
Did I? Did I say anything? I guess you know now, Governor, why I need the amnesty. Who's been putting all this rubbish in your head, McCord? What do you mean? About fits. Epilepsy. This was your problem. It was pressing against your nerves and literally paralyzed your arm. Yes. It was lodged inside you from an old wound. You thought it healed up. Every time you put any strain on the arm, that bit of lead took a walk. Till finally it was pressing against one of the most sensitive nerves in your body. Must have been pretty bad, but not epilepsy. You're not going to wind up like your pa, McCord. You've been running in bad luck a long time, but things are going to be different from now on. Dr. Chase made you a whole man. I'm empowered to make you a free one. What's the matter, Governor? Afraid of losing your star performer? What do you mean? Well, it's like you said, the doctor's made him a whole man again. He doesn't need to be a free one anymore. Not on the books, anyway. And that arm of his has been doing right well by him for years. Amnesty's just liable to get in his way. It's what I bet he's been thinking. Might even be the death of him. That's plain fool talk, Marshal. Oh, ho, 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 is it? That's the Escondido bunch. I spotted Kraut, their head man. Roadblocks down, it don't take them long to get busy, does it? Don't come any closer, Kraut. This is Lem Carter speaking. Pleased to meet you, Governor. What is it you want? McCord. Hand him over and you come to no harm. You'd better clear out, Kraut. McCord is in my custody and under my protection. That's too bad, Governor. Because we're coming in after him. Cover the back. rocks.
How long do you figure we can hold out? As long as our ammunition lasts. Maybe we ought to offer these guys out here amnesty, Governor. Think they'd let up on us then? The only bullet left is the one we dug out of you. Open that cupboard over there on the right. <coughs> the dynamite in there. Get it out.
Come on, find McCord's body. They've been blasted to smithereens. How's anyone gonna know whose body is whose? Find it. I want to see him dead. McCord. Keep out of the way. Fifty bucks? Yeah. Is it? That's it? Easy as pie.
Easiest 10,000 I ever made. You mean 5,000. Half that money is mine. Is this worth anything? What's so funny? <laughs> Forget about your 5,000, Seminole. This corpse ain't worth a nickel. What are you talking about? That's McCord, ain't it? Yeah, but this paper says Clay McCord is a free man. Governor's giving him amnesty. <laughs> Here's your bounty, fifty bucks. Remember, half of it's mine. <laughs> <laughs> This amnesty keeps up. I'm going to turn buffalo hunter. <laughs> 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 